Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of one of the biggest decisions that I have ever made. So as you can see, we're doing a quick tour behind me of my house. And I bought this house just a couple of years ago. Now, the process of making a decision to buy a house was, as you can see, it's very small, was stressful. And I wasn't able to navigate that decision just thinking about it, just kind of going through in my mind, do I want to buy a house or not? What house do I buy? I really needed to lean on something to help me make that decision. So I'm going to share with you today something that did help me make that decision. And before I share that with you, I'm really curious about whether or not any of you have experienced that kind of stressful feeling when you're trying to make a decision. And I'll ask you just to type into the chat. And you can tell me if you've experienced that. Oh, I don't know how to do chat. Um, Click on the little chat bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then okay. I got it. Good. Great. So we're going to do a 10 minute lesson about making a decision. And I can see that Alice is saying, yes, it's been stressful to make a big decision. And mm -hmm. Nancy is saying buying a car was a stressful big decision. So today, by the end of this 10 minute lesson, we will identify the four quadrants of a SWOT decision making matrix, which is what I use to help me make this big decision. And we'll articulate one reason using this SWOT analysis might decrease that kind of decision-making stress that it sounds like all of us can relate to feeling. So let's go into the SWOT analysis itself. Is that something that you've heard about before? And you can just type a Y or an N into the chat. Alice has heard of it. Nancy's heard of it. Awesome. Have you used this analysis before in making your decisions? Alice says no. What about you, Nancy? For business. Awesome. So I'm hoping that you have a decision kind of floating around in your mind that maybe you're considering and perhaps the SWOT analysis can help you in making that big decision. So I've got the, and it sounds like you already know what it is, but we'll go through this quickly and just kind of review what the actual SWOT refers to. So the S refers to strengths, and those can be things that are helpful that will help you reach an outcome or an objective that you're hoping to reach. They're things that are internal in origin. So they're things that you can control, things that refer inward. A weakness is, of course, the W, and that's something that is harmful, something that might hold you back or get in your way. That's also something that is internal, something you can control. O stands for opportunities, things that are helpful, things that will help you reach that outcome or objective. And they're things that are outside. So things maybe you can't necessarily control, but you can certainly identify and direct your energy towards. T stands for threats. Those are things that might jump in your way, stop you from achieving that outcome. Things that you can't necessarily control, but hopefully with some articulation and some identification of things in your environment, you can see them before they really get in your way. So that's something that using a matrix can help you do. Just being able to articulate and identify these kind of things can help you um, direct your energies in the right way so that you can get to your outcome or your objective and make that decision in the best, most informed way possible. So I have an activity for all of you to do. What I would like for you to do is think about something that you are working on deciding something that you are struggling with maybe or it could be big it could be small it could be what show on netflix to watch tonight but i want you to apply the swat matrix as we see it on the screen here to that decision and i'll ask you to either type into the chat or unmute something that you would add to each of these categories so you can speak using your microphone, or you can type into the chat, either one is fine. 
Maybe we'll start with category S. What's a strength you would identify? So Nancy is saying no mortgage. And Alice is saying it would be great once completed. And can you remind me what decision in particular you're applying that to? So no, mor no mortgage sounds like paying down um, your house. Sell the house. That is a big decision. And for Alice, it's writing a novel. That is also a big move. Yeah. What about the weaknesses? Can you each type into the chat something you would identify that might be a weakness? And remember that those are things that are within your control. Yeah, failure. Actually, it sounds like you're identifying, Alice, the fear of failure more than the possibility or potential of it. Is that accurate? Yeah. And Nancy is saying no yard in the new condo. Yeah, and can you tell me, uh, Nancy, what will no yard do? What does that weaken? Um, well, I'm, can you hear me if I speak? Yes, I can, yeah. All right, so um, for me with no yard, then I don't have my stress release. Like that's how I manage my stress is I go out and work the yard. Whether mm -hmm. it's snow or whether it's gardening. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's move on to opportunities. Can each of you identify either by speaking into your microphone or typing into the chat, something that you see as an opportunity, something that is external? It's an opportunity. I'll go. Uh, I, I think that, um, you know, worst case scenario, I write the novel and I can self publish it. I don't have to, you know, go to Simon yeah. Schuster if they're still in business uh, or whoever. I, you know, there's different ways I can uh, make my novel uh, shareable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Nancy, you've typed into the chat. Uh, no ice to deal with. Absolutely. So although you give up something that helps relieve stress, you also give up a big source of stress. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, what about threats? For each of you, what might the threat? So again, something that is external, what might get in your way? And you can type into the chat or speak into your mic. Alice, yeah, absolutely, that no one will read it. Yeah. yeah. However, it would still be completed, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And Nancy, what about for you? What might get in the way of selling your house and buying a condo? Not finding the right condo. Yeah. Not yeah. finding the right one in the right area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So we're going to move on now to post assessment. I really want to know, wait a minute, what did those letters stand for? Do you remember? I know we've just gone over them, but I know for myself with models, I have to work at this a little bit. I have to test myself a little bit to make sure I actually remember. So what I've got for you both to do is, um, oops, that's not what I wanted, hang on. I'm going to take you to a Google Doc. And uh, as soon as I can get my screen to cooperate, uh, oh dear, it's not working for me. As soon as I can get my screen to cooperate, I'm going to give you a link into the chat and you'll see that I've made, oops, oh dear, hang on, technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. So what I want you each to do is to please click on the link that you're seeing in the chat. It will bring up the screen that we're looking on my, at on my WebEx screen. And I want you to type in what you remember what does S stand for? What does O stand for? What does W stand for? And what does T stand for? It's just taking a minute to open up here. Um, Oops. Oh. Okay. You just want to type in, right? Yeah, just type in. Great. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Oh. Great. <laughs> 
to look oh. at you both go. Awesome. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Well, I'm writing right over yours, so. Yeah. That's, okay. <laughs> that's okay. We're working collaboratively. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it looks like we've got all of them. And I know it's kind of, it's unnerving to see yourself type, but uh, thank you very much for participating in that. So we, it's, I can see that you have been able to identify each of those letters. And I can hear through the stories that you were telling about decisions that you need to make that you've identified sources of stress, sources of release of stress, and how using this uh, might help you make that decision and arrive at the right decision for yourself. And thank you very much for um, participating in this activity and spotting like calm, cool pros. And we are at time. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.